DHG here. This is Mercenaries 2. I'm going to be doing the oil rig mission, uh, mission halfway through the game. This wasn't recording on AMD software. I don't know why. It's weird. Um, yeah, this is the PC. Of, whoa, it's been a while since I played this. Forgot how wonky that the dead zone and the acceleration is. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, okay, it's not that mission. All right, I, yeah, I gotta go down to the PLAV. The oh, PLAV, hey, the, the commies. If you like my content, do subscribe. I need subscribers. I don't have a problem with views or watch time. I just don't got enough subscribers, and I'd like to get this channel to grow, make money off of it. That won't change what I do. I'll just be making money off of it. Oh, that sucks. The software I'm recording with comes up directly over where my ammo counter is, so I don't know what I have. Yeah, this is uh, the PLAV Church mission where you capture some high-ranking Venezuela army official. I think you do this and then you go straight into the oil rig mission, if I remember correctly. I wanted to play through this on PC, just to show you guys what the PC version looks like. Ah uh, yes, the Swedish mercenary who's come to single Maybe my it'll show one of the, one of the, I mean, this game's buggy on console. I mean, I, I have a fun time playing it. it it's a fun game, running around destroy shit. It's like a single player hell divers. But if I was to say it wasn't buggy, I would be lying through my teeth. This version's even buggier. I mean, I didn't know how that was possible. Mercenaries 2 on console was buggy as all hell. This one's worse. Like, the ground will literally disappear from below your feet. I've spawned in the the mansion after you die where you spawn like you know in the back where you can go right back out to the pole. I've spawned in that area and there's no floor and nothing it's just like sky beneath your feet. That also happens out in the environment too. I think I've fallen through the map a couple times as well and I'm only halfway through the game. It should be interesting. That's okay. I think I can handle the when if you, can give if you guys are watching this, I'm assuming you already know the story, so skip that. And pay me. The man I can't get rid of that mouse cursor there, so deal with it. Every time I move it, it pops right back up whenever it wants. It's not up there during the gameplay, though. Relying on you doesn't seem to concern her. Marxist, Maoist. Capitalist, everyone loves relying on me until the bill comes. Mendez will come out of hiding once you've destroyed enough of his support. I've identified several occupied buildings. Marxist Maoists, there's really not much of a difference. That's like saying fascists and Nazis. There's differences, they're just not big. Capitalism. I think free market capitalism would yeah, be the best system you could possibly live under. But we don't have that. We have some sort of crony capitalist shit where people get to decide who the winners and losers are. That's not capitalism. In capitalism, the market decides. If you don't like what someone's selling, you don't buy it. And then they go bankrupt because you're buying stuff that you do like what they're selling. I mean, if you really doubt me and you think I need to prove my point, if you're watching this on PC, what operating system are you using? Windows? Yeah, everybody's hated Windows for the last 30 years, but it's still there. Because we don't pick up the winners. They've engaged in more anti-competitive behavior than 
mm, a lot of people. Not the most. I would have to say at the top of that would probably be entities like uh, stuff the Rockefeller Zone. Some of the other big families, especially the bankers, the bankers are notoriously bad. You know, first couple of times I played through this game, I looked at this thing and I'm like, that's a Sherman. Then I started looking at him like, wait a minute, Sherman's... The only time a Sherman had a gun like that was when it was a 105mm howitzer. And then I started looking at the rest of it, like, the turret doesn't look like that, that's not a Sherman turret. I thought, what the hell kind of... Get out of my tank, you fucking artard. Yeah, that's it, you don't get to drive in my tank now. It's, uh, I think it's called the, no, it's not the chaff, or the chaffy. XM, it was an experimental tank. It's in the game world of tanks, that's not how I know it though, I looked it up. There's a pretty cool web page where you can look up all the different tanks, because this game's got a lot of really cool tanks in it, like ones that you normally don't see, other than the Abrams. Everyone knows that tank. But like the Stingray that's in this game, that's the Mantis Light tank. It only belongs to one country on Earth, I think it's Thailand. These VZ tanks are French tanks. It's a lot of cool shit. I really enjoyed looking all that stuff up, just out of curiosity. I always like this Cavalier light tank. It's got a really, really fast fire rate. It's got like no ammo capacity and no armor, but fuck it. You can do a lot of damage real quick with this thing, and it's cheap as hell, but it's not like money matters in this game. It's not like the first mercenaries where you have to be a bit discerning with how much money you're spending and on what. Ultimately, ultimately, I think that was one of the things that held this game back. They give you access to too many overpowered vehicles and just give you way too much money. I wasn't driving that son of a bitch anyway. Let me go back here and call in another one. These cheap gorilla tanks are dime a dozen. Here you go, boss. Um, yeah, that just happened. My tank just went ominous. Sometimes when it bugs out, like the, yeah, there you go, the helicopter. Helicopter bugs out and the tank disappears, or the helicopter disappears, but the tank doesn't. It just gets dropped off somewhere. Don't mind me sounding a bit retarded in this video. I've been awake for a while. I'm kind of tired. I just wanted to get this one in so I could get into the rest of the shit in the game and finish up my recording. I mentioned this tank was in World of Tanks. Yeah, it's a real pain in the ass in that game, too. You couldn't pay me to play that game now. I am so sick of how they have that game designed and set up. Oh, oh, there's one of the graphical bugs. Yeah, look at that. I swear to God, one of the buggiest games ever. 
It even has stability issues, like it'll just crash your computer outright. It's it's so bad. That wasn't the bug I was referring to though. That one I completely forgot about. I've seen it a few times. It's really ugly. Oh, that's one of the heavy tanks. Am I out? Oh shit. Oh yeah, I forgot I got this stuff. I think at one point in the game earlier, like maybe the first video or two, I was bitching up a shitstorm about the usage of the term assault rifle, because I didn't think it was correct. No, it was correct. The term I was thinking of was assault weapon. They usually have rockets flying around here somewhere. It's always a good idea. Nothing at all. Not even near the building. Pay ammo, don't need. Here you go, boss. Put it to good use. So much traffic. Just takes your shell to the rear end. That almost fell through the floor. Fell through the map. Easy cutter. Who doesn't love dropping giant bombs? That particular bomb was used a lot in Vietnam to clear out forested regions to make zones for uh, helicopter landings. Pistol, is it? I'm going in. 
Oh, that's that. I think it's Chinese. I understand later on. You get a pistol, it's got all the same stats and all that, but it looks like the Desert Eagle. What the? Yeah, that's the Dragon Off right there. I can't see how much ammo I have. I hate that. Viking can fly. Yeah, yet yeah, more visual bugs. Holy crap. That did not go where it was supposed to. Generates and get back out. Maybe I can spot some RPGs while I'm in here. I don't see any. Oh, I picked up C4. Nice. Is this game buggy? This mission is notoriously buggy as well, especially once you get to the church. There's some rockets. Did I get that tank? Yeah, I did. How did it get blown up all the way over here? Didn't destroy the building, though. I got one more. church is right there I see the bug here is they'll be firing at the church and sometimes if a tank light drives up here and you shoot it with recoil with rifle and it blows up it'll count as friendly fire damage against these guys so it's a pain in the ass I need this move bitch get off the way Blown up an awful lot of buildings. Where is this guy? Oops, wrong one. He's trying to coordinate his troops via radio so he doesn't have to. I like the artillery. Give me a moment and I'll try and get 105 millimeter. It's slow, but it's fun to use. Don't let his men destroy that 
Get that nature out of the way. I'm about ready to kill that bitch if she shuts up. Just don't like the look of that building. If they get the slightest bit of friendly fire damage, they will just report me. And if they do it like twice, I failed the mission. A pincer move. just twirling around above me. Yep. Where are they over there doing squats? Yeah, these guys are so useful. So inaccurate.
Oh, there's some rocket ammo. Shit, I didn't want to pick that up. Thought I had that equipped. Thing feels a lot slower. Of course, it is a light tank, and they've got so much shit weighing this thing down. All these vehicles and I'm out of ammo. See you running away. Go. Oh, okay. I've never seen him run off over here before. That's weird. BLAV chopper inbound. BLAV chopper, make room for landing. Uh. The enemy of tank! 